Uh, hello everyone in this video we'll look at how do we secure the root account uh, uh, with a multi-factor authentication using a MFA device so first of all let's uh, log into your AWS console and uh, log in with your root account and then go to my security credentials because you're logged in as a root account so it will give you this uh, uh, message here uh, which is basically telling you that uh, you know follow the best practices to secure your account and uh, uh, once you have created your account you the best practice is to create uh, multiple IAM users so that you're not logging in every time with a root account into your uh, management console so for now let's just proceed with the uh, continue to security credentials because we want to uh, use uh, set up the multi-factor authentication for the root account so once you click ok here then go and expand this multi-factor authentication here so first of all we are activating the MFA and then will it ask you to configure following the wizard so uh, at this time we are selecting a a virtual MFA because I have installed a app onto my iPhone so you could use a Google Authenticator so I'll show you quickly which one I'm using so basically for uh, the virtual MFAs you can you can go onto this page and read about and and you know have a uh, look at what is available so right now I'm using this uh, application called Authy. It's a two-factor authentication. So you have to just go to your uh, on your iPhone or your uh, Android phone and uh, you know go to the the App Store and download uh, this. So once you have your uh, uh, your application installed onto your app installed onto your iPhone or, or your smartphone basically now open that app and uh, you want to scan this QR code with that app so once you do that basically on your app it will uh, uh, you know give you a, a account name you can take the default account name what it shows you there or you can uh, specify uh, you know your own uh, uh, name there so I'm just gonna pause here and uh, I'll I'll go into the MFA device and and you know configure the name there so now what you have to do is once you have uh, uh, registered on to your iPhone or, or your Android phone with the app it you have to enter the first two codes the authentication codes what that app gives you so make sure you you enter them the first one and then wait for 30 seconds to for the second one to appear so now I'm waiting for the app to give me a second code so once I have entered both the activation codes I can just click on activate uh, the device and it says it's been activated let's now go back and uh, verify that so as you can see here the device is activated so let's sign out and sign back in with this account to verify that. <clears throat> so as you can see here, it's now asking uh, to enter a authentication code. So I'm going to use my MFA virtual device to enter the code here to sign in. All right, so this verifies that, uh, you know, uh, we have uh, configured our uh, our uh, MFA device properly. So the root ac account is protected now with a, a MFA a authentication, so multi-factor authentication. So in case, you know, someone has your, by any chance, your password for the root account or so, they still need to have uh, access to your this app which is on your smartphone at this time to be able to log into your root account all right thanks everyone thanks for joining hope you have uh, enjoyed the video